Councillor Dan Swords, can you just take me through what you've called the roadmap for completely transforming the town centre here in Harley? Yeah, so last night we passed uh, the first step of the three-step plan to regenerate in the town centre. And what I described that is, is a one-way roadmap to regeneration because for far too long, uh, regeneration of the town centre has been proposed and plans have been drawn up and millions of pounds have been spent on consultants and, and so on but as everyone in this town knows nothing has happened uh, and what we set out last night and uh, passed was the first ever planning framework for the town centre the new master plan for the town centre which may sound uh, insignificant but in the, hi in the history of this town there has never been a planning framework for the town centre and what, what that means in practice is essentially any developer can build anything they want in the town centre and the council has had very little control over it. It's long been used as an excuse as to why the council can't do anything because we don't own the land. Well, we've, we've, we've smashed that excuse. That no longer exists. Uh, and what our three-step plan sets out is that uh, by the autumn of this year, uh, there will be a fully new design town centre and this time next year we will be under construction. So it is very much a, a one-way roadmap to uh, regeneration there is there is no going back there's no more dither and delay it's finally going to happen the town centre is finally going to be rebuilt because you will be judged by this won't you of all the things etc that you you know we had a three-hour meeting last night but it's the town centre are you confident that you can transform this I, th I think you, you've hit the nail on the head the most important thing is to judge someone in their actions and not their words and uh, as I said for many many years it's been promised it's been it's been planned but nothing has happened if we stand on this spot in 12 months time and nothing has happened you hold me to account for that because as I said this is a, a one-way roadmap now it's it's happening uh, construction work will be underway uh, this time next year well underway and uh, I, I think we will be judged on that is it going to be all flats or is it going to be a mixture of flats and a, a leisure offer as they say I th uh, there, there is this common misconception and it's things that happen in town centres across the country where uh, private developers just whack up a big block of flats and put a glass facade on it uh, and call it regeneration. Harlow is very unique. Uh, I'm actually standing very close to a spot in which Freddie Gibbard was uh, interviewed in the 60s about the town centre uh, he had helped to design and it was a unique town centre. Uh, it has many unique attributes and that is exactly what we are going to translate. What we're doing is moving that those Gibbard principles into the 21st century. Uh, so there will be nightlife, there will be live music, there will be entertainment, leisures, bars, restaurants, uh, high-end shops, and yes, there will be an element of residential, but it will be the highest quality residential. We, we will not uh, permit, as, as Step 1 set out last night, we will not permit you know whopping great tower blocks of, of uh, tiny flats. We're, we're talking about building uh, one of the best town centres in the country, and as I said, this time next year we'll be, we'll be well underway to doing that. Your Chancellor made a spring statement the other day. We have, sadly, in many ways, but it's good to see the support of the Ukraine flag behind you. How are you paying for this in these present circumstances? So what the, what the three-step plan sets out, and I, I, I don't diminish uh, the task ahead. It is, it is a serious task. It's been, as I said, mooted for years, but never happened. Uh, and what that three-step plan sets out is that uh, between step two and step three is that we get our development partners on board. Uh, and we, we design exactly what we want to build and we bring in partners to help us to do that. Uh, we, we already have some, some significant investment. The Conservative government, I may add, have already invested, uh, uh, given us £23.7 million to kickstart that regeneration. Never happened under a Labour government, it's happening now. We've got uh, a £50 million Harlow Investment Fund, uh, which is one of the first tangible benefits we can see of the garden town. And then we will be bringing in private private investment to help us do that. Uh, you know, I'm not talking about £20 million here. We're talking about eight, nine hundred million pounds of regeneration here. We're talking about a complete rebuilding of the town centre that, as I say, will be under construction this time next year. I know you do like the photo op with your hard hat on and diggers, but you're talking about we, you know, are there, are there the people in that office behind you, officers who are full-time, Ex experts in their fields, are there the right people in there, the calibre of people to bring this? Well I think, uh, t you know, testament is what we passed last night because uh, we, we passed a, a very, very detailed, serious new master plan. As I say, that hasn't been done in the 75 years history of Harlow. Uh, we've now done that. In November, uh, we set up a new planning and regeneration department. Uh, in the in the council which which has brought in and focused minds of serious experts we i am 
absolutely confident that we have the right people in that building behind us uh, and I, I can see that because I said we, we finally have a one-way roadmap to regeneration we've passed the first step already by autumn we will have passed step two by by this time next year we will be under construction rebuilding the town centre and there was a similar agenda item talking about community engagements you've got to because you know there'll be lots of comments underneath this story etc and you need to bring the community with you on this don't you you know um, and how are you going to do that well, i think the the, the first part uh, in answer to that question is i understand uh, why people uh, don't always believe when we talk about the town center because for many many years it's been promised uh, millions of pounds have been spent on consultants and nothing has happened uh, but th this is now the time for real change because uh, we've passed that first step. We now have a new master plan for the town centre. That's never happened before. We've got a new planning and regeneration department in council. That's never happened before. And, and as I said, we've, we've set out that one-way roadmap. In terms of the, the community's involvement in this, Har Harlow was built on a principle of uh, neighbourhoods and community. And every single person in this town uh, whether you know they live on their own, have a big family, run a business, it doesn't matter, has a large stake to play in this new design. Over the, over the next six months there will be consultation like this town has never seen it before on what people want to see in the town centre. I know uh, we need serious nightlife, I know that we need uh, high-end bars, restaurants, a live music venue uh, and much more besides, but there are so many people uh, that have a part to play in what that new design will look like and as I say over the next six months uh, we will be talking to those people everyone in this town uh, and and the, the very final point I would make is I want people to have confidence that it's finally going to happen and that I think will be the biggest driver uh, in getting people involved in this if they can see the tangible actions from what they are describing I think everyone will be on on, on uh, side with our plans.